In the United States, Latinx make up 20% of the population, yet we receive only 1% of philanthropic investment. And that's one penny for every dollar. And despite strong geographic, economic, cultural, social ties between Latin America and the United States, Latin America receives only 6% out of the billions of dollars that the US foundations are pouring into international classes each year. So to state the obvious, this is a profound injustice. It's an injustice, but it's also a mistake because it undermines our ability to achieve our mission of a more equitable world and also our collective impact. So politicians and policies may still cling to the construct of borders, but today we know that our problems are borderless because we have pandemics, recessions, natural disasters, political instability. None of these are confined to a single community or even a single continent. Our challenges, as you well said, are global. So our solutions must be global as well. We have the power to convene, to bring voices from across sectors and borders together around common interests and ideals. And we do our best work when we honor this leadership, this generosity, the strength that flourishes. It's there already in impacted communities. It's essential that we invest in these communities and that we invest in strategies to create wealth, to create wealth in the people that we're working with and to build power on the ground rather than thinking that these resources are ours to control. Over the past year, donors have become gutsy. We have become accustomed to experimentation. We pushed past the bounds of what we imagined was possible, increasing payout rates, lifting grant restrictions, adding maximum flexibility, even issuing social bonds. How creative was that? We had no choice but to become fearless. And now, as there's calls to get back to normal and they're growing louder and louder, more and more forceful, we cannot lose sight of our fearlessness. We must reject a state of return to the status quo. We need to lead, lead into our imperative of impatience and be fearless in the pursuit of justice, voice, and agency. Create the mechanisms to break down the old and consider a new way of philanthropy to fully realize our people-powered philanthropy. And we must recognize that 1% is just not enough to support any community. So palantes juntos until equity is 100% secured.